What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new video, and I have something very special in store for you today. Now, we have all heard of the legend, the myth, the hype of the Super Queen. I have three attacks showing that it is true. The Super Queen does, in fact, exist. Not mine, not yours, but these three three queens that we're going to take a look at today do not stop they will stop at nothing until they get a three star uh, so we're going to look at one town hall nine attack and we're going to look at two town hall 10 attacks so definitely stay tuned the first example that we have for you guys is coming from buckwheat showing us a stoned witch attack I believe this is still called, no one's calling it this, but I believe this is called the Go Wee Wee still. Uh, let me know down in the comment section if that is true. We got Buck starting uh, up at the top on the upper right hand side of the base, uh, starting with three golems, pretty much dropping one on each mortar and one on the cannon over there on the far right hand side, spamming the witches down and heroes behind. CC comes out early, he's gonna go ahead and drop a poison spell all right, so he's got the first jump spell down leading into that island expo compartment. Here comes the bowlers. Uh, if you look on the far right-hand side, though, uh, these two golems are beating on a wall. They do not see that jump. That jump is a little too far out of their range. They're going to end up going around the corner. Follow with the, He had a couple bowlers go inside the base. Uh, a, a few of the bowlers went around. And as you guys see, the king goes inside. But look at Queen. She doesn't know what to do. She's bebopping back and forth over there, chasing some ground skellies. She didn't take the jump either. Uh, we have King and uh, a couple witches inside of that rage spell. Heal spell is down. Uh, just missed that bowler with that heal spell. But here we go. Queen ended up going back outside the base. Where is she going? And look at what is still up, guys. We got splash. We got point defenses up. Uh, even way over there on the upper left-hand side of the space. All kinds of defenses. Bowler's being a wall. He's going to get zapped by the Tesla. But here we go. Look at down here at the bottom. We have... So King's going to go down. Down at the bottom, we have Queen. And we have a couple witches still up with the Skellies tanking. And Buckwheat does still have his Archer Queen ability uh, where he can still use that a little later in the raid. But... If you, if you take a close look, even in front of the Archer Tower and the Tesla up there that's just out of range, uh, there's still quite a few uh, buildings, and especially that high HP Elixir Surge, right there is where he's going to have to pop his ability. And look at the Queen's Hell. She walked right over a giant bomb, uh, almost went down. She is in the red with a Tesla still up, goes ahead and pops the ability, another giant bomb, bringing her back down to red. But that is going to be the last defense ending on the two gold mines. Buckwheat showing us that queen with the help of the witches had to have survived through at least nine defenses. Huge shout to Buckwheat. Next up, we have Zongo going to be demonstrating a shattered hobo bringing four heal, one rage. He's going to be showing us what he can do with his super queen. Wait until you guys see the very end of this raid. You cannot miss it. So here we go, coming in at three o'clock. Uh, again, there's no jump spells. Just bringing one rage and four heal spells for the hogs as he's trying to enter in at three o'clock right here. He gets a successful wall break where those bowlers are going to be heading right into the core of this base. Who wants to go ahead and get the Infernal Tower, take care of the enemy Archer Queen, and take care of the enemy CC troops. Completely carve that entire, basically like a U-turn compartment right there around uh, that Infernal Tower. Uh, and the Queen is still under raid, still has ability. So he was actually, notice that something crucial. Notice he was able to salvage that Queen ability. I probably would have popped it on the Infernal Tower. Zongo didn't. So his queen is inside of the core with no defenses on her. She walks right over a giant bomb. Uh, but now he's already started the hog portion, dropped down one heal spell already. There goes the second heal spell, trying to drop down a loon over here. It's going to get shot down by the air defense. But these hogs 
are slowly but surely making their way through these defenses. Goes in, drops down a, uh, another heal spell. Still has one more to go. Not really sure what happens to his hogs. I saw they did hit quite a few springs, and I think the king was able to punch quite a few of them in the face and take them out. But this top, uh, the, these top, this top compartment up here where all of these defenses are was way too much for the hogs to handle. And look at what is left. We still have uh, that archer tower and those two Teslas, but check out the range of this archer queen. My queen, look at, she is tiptoeing. Uh, she is right on the edge of death right there. My queen would have stepped up into the archer tower range where she would have died. Zongo's Archer Queen said that is not going to happen. She beats on the wall right out of range. Goes ahead and pops ability to make sure she chews through that high HP DE storage. Takes out the Tesla. There's one more Tesla to go. Just like we saw in Buckwheat's attack. Ending on a Tesla. And look at her health. She's about half health right now. So right about now we knew that this was going to be a 3 star. If anything, it was going to be close to time. And that's the last defense, gonna wrap it up on the army camp, getting that three star. Huge shout out to Zongo. Uh, the queen almost died three different times in that raid, uh, but somehow he was miraculously able to salvage that queen ability on the initial kill squad. Amazing attack. All right, guys, next up we have DT. The, uh, you guys already know, I'm, I always say, especially in these videos, I always save the best attacks for last wait until you guys see the end of this attack so dt is gonna be doing a queen walk bitch attack starting the queen over on the far right hand side at three o'clock healers behind her she's gonna be walking up uh taking out defenses and carving a funnel to make sure all those bowlers stay inside the base inside that core and completely wreck it you see he does have a bowler funnel or a, a bowler witch flank down there at six o'clock walking up a traditional bitch uh, queen walk bitch attack so as you guys can see inside the core he's already taken out quite a few defenses but at the same time there's quite a few defenses still left up but between the expos the wizard towers and that inferno tower the giant or the uh, and the giant bombs the bowlers get wiped out and this is when everyone was already saying nice try nice try very nice try because of that inferno tower this queen has to get through two separate walls and all he has is his queen with the healers behind her but he does still have the archer queen ability let's see what she can do She's making her way around 12 o'clock. Healers eat a red bomb, beating on uh, that gold storage. Gonna go ahead and take out the, the archer tower, take out the gold mine, the barracks. And this is where it really starts to get tricky right here. Uh, getting fire from the wizard tower, the archer tower, and the cannon. Takes out both of those. Archer tower is still up, but he does still have that queen ability. So right here, just has a few more trash buildings to get through before we can really tell what is going to happen with this attack. And as you guys see, he ends up taking out the Archer Tower, uh, one shots the Builder Hut, beating on that wall junction right there. And look at how close this is going to get. Queen is at full health though, and also was getting very close on time, not knowing how this was going to go. There is no way possible my archer queen or your archer queen would ever do what the archer queens did in these three attacks showing you guys three mvp super queens get determined bound to get that three star despite the peril despite having nine defenses still up with nothing tanking the queen these guys still managed to get that three star huge shout out <laughs> to zongo dt and buckwheat hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you guys leave it a like comments questions or concerns down in the comment section below subscribe to the channel if you have not already as always this is Riggs from clashing ffs and i'll see you in the very next video